Hi, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. Figures alone aren't enough these days. You have to dazzle with your data to powerfully persuade people like this. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to do it. Data needs to be easy to understand and for most people that means looking at something visual. It's much easier to see how each feature of Excel stacks up by looking at this ratings chart rather than a list of numbers. Same with this performance review data and the same with this chart which shows ratings for each player from a recent match played by my favourite football team Manchester United. So how did I create these charts? Let me show you. Let's start with the player ratings. I started by typing the players names down column A and the ratings down column B and the possible ratings values, that's 1 to 10, across row 4. Column B and row 4 will eventually be hidden. The formula in C5 calculates a value that will be used to determine whether the star is gold or white. The formula takes the player rating in B5, subtracts the value in C4 and adds 1 to it. The dollar signs are to fix the column and row elements so that I can copy the formulas down and across. Now that the formulas have been copied, it's time to apply conditional formatting. From the Home tab, click on Conditional Formatting and then Icon Sets and select the stars from the Rating section. When you apply Icon Set Conditional Formatting, Excel uses some default settings which in this case don't give me what I need. I want it to display a gold star when the value in the cell is one or more. I want it to display a white star when the value in the cell is zero or less. And I don't want the half white, half gold star at all. So I need to amend the conditional formatting rule. With the cell still selected, click on Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules, select the Icon Set Rule and click Edit Rule. The default for the type is percent, but as we're dealing with numbers, I need to change the type in both elements to Number. With the current setting, it'll display a gold star if the cell value is zero or more. So I want to change the zero against the gold star to one. So now it'll display a gold star when the value in the cell is one or more. I also need to change the setting on the second element of the rule. As it currently stands, a white star will be displayed when the value in the cell is less than zero. But I want a white star when it's zero or less. In other words, I want to include the zero for the white star. I can't change the white star setting, so I need to change the middle one. I'll set this to less than one and greater than zero, which automatically changes the setting for the white star to be less than or equal to zero. The middle option means display a half gold, half white star if the value in the cell is less than 1 but greater than 0. In other words, a value that's between 0.1 and 0.9. In this example, that will never happen, so I'll set that to show no icon. If I click on B5 and change the values, you can see that it is changing the number of gold stars. If I set it to a zero, it's showing no gold stars. Let's set that back to three. It looks a bit odd with the values and the stars, so I'll amend the conditional formatting rule to hide the values and only display the stars. So go back to conditional formatting, manage rules, select the rule and edit it, and tick the box that says show icon only. To tidy this up, I'm going to hide column B and I'm going to hide row 4 and I'm going to change the column widths of the columns with the stars in. Let's set those to about 4 and then finally change the background colour of all of these cells to a dark green and set the text colour to white. There are many uses for this type of visualisation. Here's another one and another one. 
So that's one way to create a ratings chart using conditional formatting. Another way is to use a function. And this function will repeat a character a given number of times. The function is the REPT function. And the benefit of using this method is that it gives you more flexibility in terms of symbols and colour. Here I've used a red soccer ball instead of a gold star. So next to a player who received a rating of three would be three balls instead of three stars. To do this, I'm going to start by selecting a blank cell. Any cell will do out of the way of the data. I'm using M1. In M1, I'll click on Insert Symbols. I want to set the font to Sago UI Symbol and set the subset to Miscellaneous Symbols. And then I'll scroll down this list of symbols and I'm looking for the football. There it is. Select it and click Insert. Next, I'll go to C4 and enter a formula into C4. And that formula is equals REPT, open brackets. Select the cell that contains the text, or in this case, symbol that I want to repeat, which is M1. And I need to put the dollar signs in there so that when I copy the formula down, it keeps the reference to M1. Then put a comma and then specify the number of times that I want it to repeat that character, or in this case, that symbol. And that number is coming from B4. If I widen the column, column C, you will now see that we've got three footballs in there, three symbols, and then copy that formula down. I've already set the font of column C to be 18 points, but I do need to change the colour and I can do that just by changing the font colour. I'll also widen the column a bit more and align it to the left. And then I'll hide column M and I'll also hide column B. So there we have a couple of ways to create ratings charts in Excel. Thanks for watching. If you found it useful, please give it a like. And if you've not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. But until the next time, take care and stay safe.